Hi, dear investors. Hi, and students. You know, this is Vinny Chopra again. Today, I'm going to talk about my systems of investors relations. You know, I have always felt when they give you that $100,000 or $50,000, it's their hard-earned money. And the more you keep communication open, frank, and transparent with your investors, the more they will feel comfortable and sleep well at night time, you know, rather than worrying about the investment, the money they put it in with you. What's the best way to really have better communication is through newsletters and also having a portal where you can send them or upload some of the pictures of the asset, some of the CapEx items, you know, maybe pictures of the staff, you know, all the different things that you're doing. One thing which has really helped me a lot over the last 15 years is to hold a quarterly meeting. A quarterly meeting is where you put a PowerPoint presentation together and you go over the financials, that's the profit and loss statement, and the rent roll, occupancy, delinquency, concessions, all that. But in the PL, you go over the revenues and then expenses each category so that the understanding is there from the investors. And you record that, by the way. Always, always, always record the Zoom meeting because not all the investors will be able to come to attend that meeting. So you can send the link back, put it into a Dropbox or Google Drive and send a link back to all the investors of that investment so that they can take sweet time to go through that PowerPoint presentation and you're recording live and answering questions. By the way, that's the other thing I really believe is the best thing I have done is to design the PowerPoint with the pictures of the asset on the left side at the bottom. So this is a master slide, I call it. And then all of the slides are offshoot of these slides. So that way, every time when I do presentation, the investors are able to look at those pictures and I bring new pictures also and put them into the marketing section of the slide, the financial sections, the executive summary in the front, and then my new deals at the back side. Oh my gosh, that is a great way also to tie the investors for your next deal and next deal and next deal because every quarter, if you are able to give them a small way to understand what's happening in their asset right now, they'll be more comfortable to give you more money for future projects. So that is something I've really utilized also in the last 15 years. And that's why money has been flowing so much for me. The other thing I would say is to get on to, if somebody asks you a question, uh, emails you, texts you, you want to be very, very available with your investors. Because small problem, small thing in their mind, if you don't call back within a set period of time, maybe uh, one day or you know half a day or something or a few hours, then they it starts brewing it more. What? Uh, how are you in organization of your uh, you know business and things like that? So communication and getting to those uh, investors' questions and anything to do with the taxation and the K ones. All those things are very, very important and you want to give your best to really understand their difficulty, their thing. It's not major at all, but I find if I can take care of it, then it gets them at a much better level and they tell more people at work and more people in their family. I have so many families now, their children, their uncles, aunts, uh, brothers, sisters, they are you know, investing with me and their colleagues at work are investing. That's the best way to really, uh, you know, grow your base of the investors. Other things I can talk about is, of course, I do these four meetings after I purchase the asset. I used to do it quite a bit before where I show them the closing statement and show them the LLC papers and all because they gave you all that money through the PPM and all and it, they wired the money into the account. Now the property is closed and you want to share with them the closing statement and the staff at that property and the property management company you're using, their logo, and then your website, how it looks, and, and some flyers that maybe you have 
captured from the new ownership of that and maybe even the picture of the you know uh, new attitude new uh, you know flyer ribbon cutting ceremonies i do later on not right away but that's something in the first meeting then after a month you invite the investors again now you're going to show them about the software that you are property management company if you are vertically integrated like me or other company third party then show them you know what kind of software they are using and it's 24 hours and how the residents are able to go on the website and make payments of the rent and then you show them financial statement now you yeah, are the pnl you know what uh, each month like you know how how we collect all the rents and all the more you teach the investor and record it they will be very happy that you did they more understanding many of them may not even get into it but just the fact that you took the time to really go over these things will mean a lot to them i'm telling you and then you start sending you know quarterly newsletter also you know update on the property we call it with very good solid numbers and some pictures and all that and again the last of all having a portal on syndication pro or appfolio or there are lots of them you know not too expensive that way the login the investors can come into the login into that uh, portal and they can see their uh, you know documentations and k1s and all and also the updates are there and how much they've invested with you in each asset and how much they've been paid so far by counting total you know so those things help a lot to keep the investors solid you put a shield around them because they have so many different choices now you know you know it you see the social media i mean everybody and everybody is trying to grab investors you know so you want to really do a good job with your investors make them feel comfortable and ask them that you know are they ready to invest more and more and more like that and share with them cost segregation how you will be doing the cost segregation and saving them on taxes maybe one of the meeting you should show them the k1 how you were you will be able to show the net and loss income on the you know passive loss which is called you know and they would really really appreciate that so communication with the investors is the real key to success